Hey guys, Hyler Tamerlane here with more obscurities and miniatures. Today I finally got a hold of the Gotha Knights. The Gotha Knights are a big fancy armored werewolf men for the Garitzi faction of the Wrath of Kings game that Cool Mini seems to be silently letting go. So here you can see we've got some big bad wolves, obviously with honking huge blades. You get six Gotha Knights and two Gotha Lords. These are the Knights. This is the Lord. So he's got some kind of double-handed sickle-y, I don't know what sickle -y means, oh, it's more of a side, okay, but anyway, so I'm going to pop it open, let's see what's inside. So for once, I can't really gripe at Cool Mini about not really packing their box well, this is a dense pile of plastic and bags, and more bags inside of bags. We got our 40 millimeter bases. We've got our two cards, one for the knight, one for the lord. And as it says, our 40 millimeter bases. So they're kind of erratic with the wolves as to what size bases they're on. Some seem to go on 40s, but I have quite a few that are on 50s. Maybe it's the characters that are on the 50s. Dang. This dude's big. So here's the lord figure. I mean, I'm. it's got a good heft to it. It'll be fun... I can't. I cut my nails too short, and they're covered in glue anyway. It's probably not helping much. So here is one of our Lord figures, and I mean he's he's pretty big. He's pretty big. I don't have my usual buddies hanging out at the moment because they were in the process of getting swapped to a different table. But I'm almost wondering if this guy is even going to fit on a 40 millimeter base. He's really big. And he's got a huge mane of hair that I'm somehow supposed to attach. Jeez. I mean, at this point I'm almost like, maybe we can just... This is like a 54 millimeter figure almost. He's really big. So obviously he doesn't have his weapon attached yet. But, I mean, he is an impressive werewolf. With horns, I might add. For some reason, the Garitzi's Scorza guys, these are the Scorza of the wolves. Except these are the Scorza of Gotha or something like that. I'm just making up words probably here. You don't know. But they do seem to grow horns, and they have the one character model who actually ended up in the Zombicide Green Hordes stretch goals, who was actually originally a Wrath of Kings model. And just to get a quick idea, I'm not going to rip these all off. Let's find another figure. Here's another lord. Oh, lord. Hmm. Alright, are these the same? Hmm, they are the same. Let's try one of them. These giant elongated punch dagger things. Next time I'm keeping a knife handy. So, not too many parts, but at least with the... Garitzi and the scores guys these werewolves you don't really have to worry too much about the size of the parts getting lost in the carpet they're quite large with the exception of maybe the heads and since they're quite large they're easy to push fit together and pretty simple i haven't ever had to reheat or bend or hot water fire any of my scurs, scurs, any of the scores of stuff that I've built, they all tend to go together pretty easily. So, just to give a quick idea, I mean, <laughs> they're both headless now, okay. I gotta make it fair. So you can see that, yeah, the Lord here has got a good head and shoulders above his friend here, plus he's a lot wider. I honestly don't think this guy's going to fit on a 40 millimeter base, but whatever. Okay. Let's open another one. I think what I'm going to do is I will pop open one of each model since we have doubles of the wolf guys. Here's another one. He doesn't have as much elaborate armor on. Does have a ponytail. The most 90s werewolves there are, I guess. I like this guy's pose, actually. He's got these big... If I can actually attach his arm. As I was just commenting how easy it was to build. Eh. So he's got, instead of weird elongated punch daggers, like this guy does, 
like backhanded Giver blade thing. He's just got big freaking swords. So he can be all posed dramat dramatically, dramatically, dry fitted dramatically. And interesting, some of them have the pegs on the bottom of their feet, some do not. So like our friend here, the Lord actually has kind of textured paws, whereas the goat the knight himself has the big huge peg. Right, is this guy going to fit on a 40 millimeter base? Let's grab a 40 millimeter base. Let's see. I'm I'm not buying it. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. No. No. This is not happening. And remember, these bases are designed with a little insert in mind. So unless you're going to actually go ahead and have, you know, some kind of green stuff filling in and then cork on top or something that's actually going to jut out, this guy at least is just not even going to fit on the base. So something to keep in mind. What about the boss? It's like a no. Yeah, the rest of the bag's all 40s. I mean, that's weird. Hey, he's Punch Dagger, dude. He's the guy we opened. I guess there's two Punch Daggery guys. Let's see. Are they all the same? The cool mini Goofy again? No, okay. This one I must have opened because I only find the one of him. He's got his right leg unattached, whereas this guy has his left leg unattached. But still has punch daggers. Surprisingly, there's no females. That's weird. Now check this out. He's got one peg on this foot, and then this leg has none. How is he supposed to stand on that base? I don't know. Funny enough, going back and looking at the box, I don't even know how they're doing this magic. So this guy's, I, I guess this is this model. He's supposed to be kind of dashing forward, but his foot looks almost broken. It looks way too far back. I like his gladiator-styled armor. At least it looks like a gladiator to me. I don't care if he says he's a knight. He doesn't look like a knight. He doesn't look very knightly to me. Not as bondage as some of the other werewolves. Yeah, obviously I'm going to need some glue here. All right, so we've at least got something of an idea of just how big these wolves are. I don't know what kind of bases crack they were smoking when Cool Mini photographed them for the box. And then there's the ridiculously large. They're all big. Check it out. So you know what? This guy's really big too. He's kind of small compared to the rest, though. I'm going to put these guys together at least. I'll save the other three for later. And why don't we see how they stack up to some of the other Wrath of Kings werewolf models and whatever else I got laying around, shall we? All right, we got our Goat the Lord all finished up here. And I mean, look at this dude. He's not even on a base. I don't know how he's going to fit on a 40 millimeter base, but he is absolutely massive. We will get our Goat the Knights up here as well. And i got to say, if anything has ever given me more of a confrontation vibe than any other Wrath of Kings figure, it's got to be the Goat the Knights. I mean, they've got the big Qatar punch dagger blade things just like the Wolfen used to have. So if you ever want to expand your Wolfen Force, check out this box because they might be a little bit bigger than the actual Rackham models. But, I mean, dude, they're just, they're crazy giant wolves with crazy giant blades that don't want to stand up i don't even know how i'm going to fit them on a base i really don't know how they're I, they've got the little peg on the bottom of their legs to kind of you know drill a hole and pose them on it but i don't know what i'm going to do base wise and then there's this guy who's just i'm going to take up as much space as i possibly can here and not stand up i mean i have the scores on alpha here and you can see i mean this guy is just as big if not bigger this is just a regular unit. I don't know if there's what rank their specialists are, but he's a lot bigger. And then the, the Lord himself, I mean, he might as well be a character model. I think he's bigger than the character models, too. A sad, sad thing. Where's our basic scores? Here we go. I mean, he's more in line with, you know, the regular knights. But the Lord just is... And 
our friend with his big fancy anime blade. I mean, they really are. <laughs> These are Wolfen 2.0. If you were going to make a Wolfen army, especially if you want to do a Kings of War werewolf army, you, you got to go get yourself some of these scores of stuff from Rapid Kings. And the way that it seems Miniature Market has purchased the remainder of Cool Mini stock, I don't know how much longer they're going to be around. Hopefully, as people get tired of having to try to clear out their closets of old models, you'll be able to find these cheaper. Fingers crossed, because they're basically going extinct. But they are cool models. So, again, these are the Gotha Knights. You know, I actually have one of the White Mane Duelists. We'll see how she stacks up. Oh, boy. So, yeah, lots of wolf love here going on. And again, I swear to God, I'm not into the furry stuff, but it just seems like I keep ending up with so many animal people. I don't know what's going on. Maybe you guys can help me figure it out. In the meantime, I'm going to have to say my fond farewells because it is time to go do grown-up family real-life stuff. So, with that said, this is High Lord Tamerlane with Obscurities and Miniatures, and see you later. Bye-bye.